This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. If you're like us and you're a big follower of gold, relax. Have an enjoyable day. Let's talk about rare earths. Greenland mining, Crossland mining, and uh, frontier rare earths have all had some terrific discoveries. What's most significant about these terrific discoveries uh, is that A, they contain heavy rare earths, and B, they're in free countries. So what we're seeing strategically is that uh, miners are doing everything they can to uncover both light and heavy rare earths in, in, in democratically controlled countries. And this is a terrific move. Each one of the three of these companies, but particularly Frontier, uh, bear close, close scrutiny uh, for adding to your positions there. Now, one of the things we keep talking about is there is this bailout theory that the Indians, uh, the Brazilians, uh, and the Chinese are going to really do all this great stuff on our behalf. Uh, I want to point out to you that the, over the last two months in India, auto sales are down 23%. Um, the central bank in India has raised interest rates 11 times since March of 2010. So what we see happening is instead of the Indian economy expanding, we see the Indian economy contracting. Now, we've talked about this in China, and we will talk about it in Brazil as well. But it's important to realize that there's a worldwide malaise, and that malaise is going to continue until the U.S. gets its jobs going. I must say, as I expected, that I was quite disappointed about the president's approach. It's not nearly radical enough. It's not nearly going to move through quickly enough. I think there should be a march on Washington by unemployed people of all races and creeds to get it to the attention of people that the millions of people who are not working are really bummed out. Now, I, you know, I, I can't use the kind of words I'd like to use to describe the situation, but the, the, it's quite clear that the pain that people feel on an individual basis is not being felt in Washington because people in Washington spend all of their time fundamentally talking to rich people. And the rich people are not necessarily evil but they ha they have a particular set of views. They think the world is their oyster, and in many cases, they're correct. And these rich people that senators and congressmen talk to, are, I'm not just talking about people who are on TV. I'm talking about their friends. I'm talking about country clubs they go to. I'm talking about the people of color they may interact with. Most of the people they interact with are people who are quite economically successful. So what we want to do is we want to get these people who live in a world of privilege and shelter uh, to uh, uh, get a reality check with the millions of Americans who are out of work and can't get work in their field or have had to take work at a totally different price level than what they're used to. So uh, this is Arnie Waters. I must tell you, I was in one of my clubs in Boston yesterday, and I realized and I, 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 was, I was hearing the standard Republican line, and it had been so long since I heard that, uh, I had to remind myself where I was. And so it wasn't surprising that uh, I was hearing this in, in an in a, in a, um, inner sanctum of privilege. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day. Take care.